Greetings, folks. I am uh, back for another video today. Um, we're going to be doing something a little different. I know you've uh, seen me work on art before, but we're going to jump back into that today. Um, I want to talk a little bit about how I do graphics. Uh, uh, I wanted to share with you the very first uh, program that um, I found very useful. I probably messed with a few of them. Uh, but this one I think you can do a lot with. It's called uh, Project Dog Waffle. The current um, one that I'm using is called uh, Summer Splash. Uh, it's a PD Howler uh, 11. And I'm going to go ahead and get that opened up. So we'll see if this one is going to be the two, uh, the Summer Splash, which is what I'd like. So we'll just kind of check out our help file here. There's 11. Oh, this is 2C. So this is the most recent one. I thought we might have a look at the website just to see about what's new with Howler. Just want to put the off on now. And uh, I'll just kind of show you. I, I use a, it's getting stuck. I use a tablet. It's a Wacom tablet. I've had this for many years to, to draw on and a stylus. And we can just, just like that. So we'll just draw a little bit. So one of the, one of the coolest ones that uh, I'm doing was totally oils. Very, very fun. Fun one to work with here. some of the filters now on this. <laughs> so I, 
think what I would like to do is maybe blow that up more. Cancel it, go back. Let's take a stamp of that so you get to see the stamping tool here. And then we're just going to put it all over the screen. Isn't that cool? Now let's spherize. So it's in the transform section. Bam. Ooh, and I can animate it too. I think what I'd like to do before, it looks like it's kind of all bumpy, so let's kind of smear it around a little more. Because that's what I do. I'm a smear. And it's fun to smear. You can take out some of that rib look to it, right? If we should add some orbicles in too, that would be fun. Orbicles is interesting. It's going to have a drawing pattern similar to what you'd seen before. I think I need to get a brush size that's a little bigger. Or not. I'm going to a few of the ribs because they look kind of cool. Look at some of the other filters here. So it's just kind of off. Ooh, gray emboss. Would that make for an interesting looking planet? Sweet. So this really kind of gives you that, that look. Go back to it and we'll undo. Let's look at one of the other options here. The color of boss. The edge. The color so well. That one will look cool. Let's turn that into a planet. Or sorry, a sphere, but you know where my mind is going. Just an inch Look at that. 
now let's try to hit it with a Kabbalah edge detector and then turn it into the planet. Okay, let's see I think I'd like to not use the edge detector on it. Let's try it again as a point. Very cool now. Uh, well, Especially for picking things out of, um, of other programs or other drawings. So, as you'll see here, we're going to start a new drawing. Let's do the new one. And import it. Oh, I was looking for a meta file instead of all files. There it is. It's also good to have the uh, stylus to, to choose your stuff. That is the eraser one. You can pop a little bigger with it. There. I want to make sure you get the edges out too, because that typically doesn't do the best job. Put a small one on and get more detailed with it. <laughs> oh crap. Features that are planet like. Cool. So, this is a whole lot of fun, people. Don't let anyone convince you that it's not. I want it to be a nice, smooth looking one. I 
I think we got a nice planet. Can you move it into normal space? I'll get around it. We just export it. We can export it as a PNG. That's going to give it like a transparent type of background. Good stuff. I'd like to maybe put it in my hand. Maybe take shape and then float off. What do you think of that? 